Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to First Impressions with Insane Ian. I am obviously Insane Ian, and this is my first impression of the game Wizard of Legend. Uh, got released a couple weeks ago, has been topping the uh, bestseller charts since its release. I picked it up uh, the week it came out, probably the day it came out, I think. And, uh, and haven't had a chance to play it yet. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it here on First E-Impressions. Uh, also, kind of side note, uh, the score that you can kind of hear, uh, I had, unfortunately, to turn the music down so that you can hear my microphone, but uh, the music is done by a good friend of mine, uh, buddy Dale North did the score to this. Uh, Dale was the editor-in-chief of Destructoid when I wrote for Destructoid. And, uh, and uh, you know, he did the, he, he's a video game composer and uh, did the soundtrack to this. And uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, if, you, uh, if you enjoy what you can hear on this, actually, you know what, let me turn the music off just a little bit more. I had to turn it down, but let's make it at least a little more uh, able to be heard. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's definitely one worth uh, checking out. I picked up the soundtrack on Bandcamp. Uh, you can find the soundtrack on anything. It's out on iTunes and Spotify and Amazon and Bandcamp and all that good stuff. But anyway, we're going to play the game. Wizard of Legend. Do, 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 do. Yay, loading. X to continue. The Nova Museum. Look at me! I got a cape, and there's lots of birds, and... Okay, well... If you're looking for the Museum of Lenovo, it's just up ahead. Oh, cool. I... Oh, hey. All sorts of arcana and relics, and I got a museum ticket. Neat. A ticket to Lenovo's museum's newly opened Chaos Trials exhibit. Well, I'm not going to drop that. I, I need that, supposedly. So many birds. All right, well, here I am. Look at that person zooming around. And here's Sid Vicious and his kid. Okay. Welcome to the Museum of Lenovo. Here's a complimentary airburst dash arcana for your convenience. Oh, sweet. I get to do that thing that that guy's doing. So I do that with X, apparently. Look at us dashing. We're so cool. Uh, I'm supposed to meet my friend for the Chaos Trials, but she's running a bit late. Oh, dude, you got stood up. You got magic stood up. We love coming to the museum. All of the exhibitors are fun and interactive. You always get so excited about this place. I don't know why that's the voice I... Whatever. I'm zooming. I don't care. Wee. Yes. His name is Spike. Do you know that true wizards never ever take their hoods off? Never ever? Ever ever ever? Forever ever? Never. Well, guess I'll never take my hood off then because I'm a... Okay. What, what has happened? Seriously, the only button that does anything is, is that. Whoa. Lightning element, arcana, earth element. Water element, fire element, wind, right? Yeah, wind, air, whatever. I'm going to display some of the arcana the wizards used in the Chaos Trials. These arcana are created by virtuosos who imbued their masterpieces with elements refined from chaos. By channeling their magical energies through these arcana, wizards would summon the powerful elements depicted on these works. Well, alright. For a second there, I thought that guy's name was Spam. It's always surprising to see just how many different arcana they had back in the day. It makes sense as each arcana crafting virtuoso had different designs and goals in mind. Everyone's so knowledgeable. It's great that our arcana are protected by the magic they're created with. It means I can take all the flash photos I want. Flash magic. Handcrafted by a skilled virtuoso by the one, the one you see here. Six arcana and uh, thing. Okay, look at that guy tearing up shit. Hey there, here are a couple of arcana for you to try out. 
While these replicas won't have any real effects, you can use them in the museum's interactive exhibits. Try giving those training dummies a good one, too. Got Wind Slash and Dragon Arc. Wind Slash. Wind Slash and Dragon Arc. Holy crap. Yep. Yeah. Man, just like messing them up. Oh, I gotta wait for it to regen. Like, it's gotta cool down. Down in the bottom left corner. So it's uh, reforming. Yeah, cool. But the wind slash doesn't seem to have a cooldown. Yeah, nifty. All right, cool. This is what I got in the costume for. Oh, nice. Dragon Arc Arcana would be awesome at fireworks show. Well, nifty. And here's a bunch of developers, the Kickstarter backers or something. Did that guy's hat just appear? Oh no, it's the thing from over there. Cool. Okay, well. What? what? The things are on fire! Okay. Signature Arcana were rare, specialized versions of standard Arcana that absorb nearly magical energy. When fully charged, these Arcana release devastating, powerful versions of the spell they contain. Those creatures look scary. These flames feel surprisingly nice and toasty. I'm glad I didn't bring a sweater. Too hot. Must leave now. Your beard is gonna get singed, dude. Alright. Ball lightning. Flame breath. Whirling tornado. I don't want lightning to come out of my balls. That's not... That doesn't sound comfy. Signature are kind of a little more elaborate in their design and effect when compared to their standard counterparts. Neat. Oh, what do I get from you? Try this one out. When fully charged, the exploding fireball signature arcana lets you hurl these fireballs in quick succession. Signature arcana are normally charged by striking targets with this with spells. But for the purpose of this exhibit, you can pick up the blue magic orb in the practice area. Exploding fireball. Holy crap. So I can't use it without picking up that blue fireball. Like, it's... It's completely regen down there. Oh, I can do I can do a, a small shot, but like, see, just a small thing. But then I pick this up, and whoa, it's all more awesome. Okay, cool. Shooting giant balls of fire from your hands is awesome. I know, right? Use a few slashes to get the groove, then blast them away. Okay, this wind slash is kind of lame. Whoa, that dude looks awesome. What's what's going on here? Flame Empress Zeal. Earth Lord Atlas. Frost Queen Freya. Help Desk Consultant Harry. The Chaos Trials were an annual invitational event administered by the Lenovian Council of Magic. These powerful wizards were masters of their chosen elements and fashioned the trials for contestants to undertake. Well, neat. Zeal's my favorite. Her style is lit early on fire. I, what do I, is it spaced like that? That's weird. Here she was quite the pistol indeed. Fred. Fred the mother Freya was the first council member and Atlas joined shortly after meeting her. Well, thanks for these facts, museum goers. Okay, yeah, someone looks pretty strong. Taking in all of them would be scary. Oh man, that's a, that's a scary looking dude. Mighty Chaos Knight readies for battle. Chaos Trials featured a variety of formidable foes conjured from Chaos Energy. Some of these conjured enemies would also be imbued with the elements to pose an even greater threat. So basically, uh, what this game is, is it's supposed to be a dungeon crawler uh, with procedurally generated dungeons uh, that you kind of like just kind of wade through and destroy things. But it has this open uh, section of a museum to kind of teach you about the world, which is kind of cool. If there's some Chaos Mage prepares an arcana. And then this, the stealthy chaos rogue, shifts into the shadows. Alexander Hamilton. These rogues turning invisible! How are you supposed to fight against them? Well, because you can see them as shadow things. Obviously. Dork. Chaos Arcana was specialized Arcana, drafted directly from Chaos Energies. That required great skill and finesse to activate. Only wizards who successfully completed the Chaos Trials were entrusted with possession of Chaos Arcana. 
However, very little is known about the use of these arcana, as none of these legendary wizards are around today. They're all fucking dead! Well, alright. Chaos gems, currency, metallic coins, goods and services. Totally would have tons of gems and coins, but definitely not any chaos arcana. Alright, and this is, uh, what are these things? Rare chaos arcana with unknown effects. Don't know what they do, but I bet the arrow one shot like an arrow. Alright. Airburst arcana is super useful here. You can use it to dash over pits and away from attacks. Welcome to the Chaos Trials Interactive Course! Yay! Neat! I get to find out a thing with stuff. This course will give you an idea of what it was like to take on the Chaos Trials. Well then, I suppose that is something that I should do. I'm uh, looking at the uh, chat room first though. Because I forgot to load that up before. I'm silly. Somebody said something and I missed it. But anyway. Good luck. I know you can do it. Well, that you believe in me more than I believe in me. So, how do I... Yeah, I dashed. You gotta dash over these things, because... Look at that. I got freezing sprite Naya. Does that... Do I... No, oh, it's a relic. Okay. Summons a sprite that freezes enemies. Only one sprite can be held at a time. Well, nifty. And here we are. And now, now I've got... Did I, did I freeze that thing just by standing near it? Oh my god! You're an asshole! Yeah, I did the thing. Oh. Frost fan. What? Oh, see that got mapped to uh, L1. You got the little, little controls down there at the bottom. And they got cooldowns. That's nifty. This seems less than good. Oh, gravy. Uh... Ow, ow, ow. Ha ha ha. Uh... Make with the killing. Oh, gosh. I knocked him into the thing. I uh, totally kicked butt. All right, well, I'm doing okay. And now I'm in a forest for some reason. Oh, oh God. What the hell are you? Giant slime. What is this, Dragon Warrior? Oh, my God. That's that not the effect I wanted. Holy crap. There's a ton of them. Oh, God. Everybody's hurtful. Oh, my God. There's even more of them. <laughs> well... I don't know how I managed to power up that thing. That was neat, though. I did the thing. Moving forward. Yay! These snacks are perfect after that exercise. Sometimes I think he comes here just for the cookies. I freaking would! I love cookies! Uh, this course is super tiring, but after a few tries, I managed to get the upper hand on that blob. Yeah, the blob. Okay, do to do to do. Sorry, it's checking the chat room. Nobody said anything. I'd like a like a repeat of. I know somebody said something, so somebody could repeat what they said, so I can see it now. That'd be cool. Liam, I didn't know that these wizards ran around with enchanted cloaks too. Functional and stylish, an elegant combination. Wizards who under the Chaos Trials were usually garbed in standard wizarding cloak, as shown here, or you know, the guy who's looking at it. They were allowed to enter the trials with one of each of the four classes of Arcana, as well as a relic of their choosing. Like me! My relic of choosing is this... the uh, crazy thing. Fragman Z says, Cookies are awesome, especially Oreos. You are right. I used to do a taste test video thing, for people who don't know, so... They finally opened this exhibit, and now I can see why it took so long. With so many exquisite pieces, I can't imagine how long it took to collect them all. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon! I'm so hungry after that interactive course. I'm going for a sushi dinner course after this. Your name is Song. That's kind of cool. Uh, and sushi. Like, you, you, none of you people are in costume. I don't know how you did wizarding things. Alright. 
On display here are some of the relics that were used by wizards in the Chaos Trials. Each of these unique relics had a powerful attributes that wizards used to, in, used to great effect in the trials. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want them. Let me jump over there. Fine, don't. I don't see that color in the wardrobe. It's my own enchanted cloak. It makes me twice as charming. <laughs> Wizarding cloaks used in the Chaos Trials were optimized for quick movement and arcana use. Many of these cloaks were even enchanted by skilled tailors to have a variety of potent effects. Well, neat. Look at me dash. I'm dashing. <laughs> Z, you should do that video with the new flavors. Uh, Dragman Z said, I have a video to do with the new flavors of Oreos. I have Oreo cookies from Easter left to do that I still haven't done because of the kidney stones. That's a different series. We're not talking about that. This is first the impressions. <laughs> Wizards entering the Chaos Trials often had grimoires full of arcana in their possession. However, as only one arcana of each class could be used in the Trials, they were required to fashion a limited hand that suited their strengths. So, like, basically you collect cards with powers, and you're, you, that's what you use to do stuff. Well, neat. With a full grimoire, the arcana combinations would have been endless! It must have taken forever just to pick which ones to use. Uh, yeah, likely will be. And here I am dashing out of here. Oh, nobody's nobody's talkable to. They're all just standing there. The insignia of legend was a mark of distinction granted only those wizards who successfully came overcame the chaos trials. I'm gonna have one. Other than its ceremonial use, not much else is known about this relic other than that it was crafted directly from chaos energy. Oh, uh oh, oh no, that seems dangerous. Oh god, what happened? I was just looking at it. Well, I'm, I've landed on my face. Veris is the mirror. Pardon me, are you alright? That looked like quite a tumble there. My face! Phew, glad to see that you're okay. Welcome to your new home away from home. As a wizard invited to participate in the Chaos Trials, your accommodations and our services are provided by the Magic Council! Also included is a one-time stipend of 100 Chaos Gems. Ooh, I got money! You'll have to excuse the mess. We weren't expecting any guests so soon. But not to worry. We'll have everything sorted out shortly. In the meantime, let's do a round of introductions! Hi, my name is Ian, and I'm an alcoholic. No, that's not true at all. I don't drink. Uh, all right, cool. Well, this was that was the thing. I'm Varys, the enchanted looking glass. Just stop on by, and I'll tell you how stylish you are. I love that cloak. All right. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ward, and all of your enchanted entire will be in my charge. Now let's see what fashionable outfits I have ready for you. I can do blue, or red, uh, or blue or red. Hope, Wizarding Standard, or Patience. Look at the different styles of, look at them dance. Wee! Everybody's kicking and doing stuff. We're nifty. All right, I want to do blue. That's fine. Cool. Who are you? Hey, I'm Mimi, and I'll be snacking on all the relics you find. That, wait, what? Don't eat my stuff. But don't worry, they'll be safe and ready whenever you need them. Well, okay, cool. Uh, do I have... Oh, I have a couple. One offensive. Oh, more. It's this direction. I've got the friendship bracelet. Increases damage and movement speed when you're with a true friend. I don't have any friends. I'm quipping it anyway. Um. Okay, and uh... Got my museum ticket. That's a great thing to equip. No. Freezing sprite. Naya no, summons a sprite that freezes enemies. So only one sprite can be held at a time. Well, I'm gonna do equip that. That's cool. It's freezing sprite. Naya. No, Wait, did I change my equip? Is this not equipped now? Yeah, I guess you can only equip one thing at a time. I like the freezing sprite thing. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Tommy, and I'll be cataloging all the arcana you come across. Let's peruse through your gallery now! Uh, nothing basic. Wind slash. Cool. Wind slash is equipped. Dash. Airburst dash. We, yeah, we did that. 
That's equipped. Standard is the Dragon Arc. Nothing there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, it's up and down. Oh, Frost Fan. That's on the thing. Dragon Arc. Is this not equipped anymore? L1 and R, they're not, they're not there. Oh, no, that equips to... I don't want to do that. I want the Dragon Arc. I like the Dragon Arc. And Signature is the Exploding Fireball. So I, oh, I can't have it on L1 and R1 anymore. That's lame. Oh, all right, fine. Uh, basic is just the Wind Slash. Dash is just the Air Burst. Standard is the Frost and the, I like the, the Fire. Fire is better. Rebounding Icicles. Cascade and return to you. No, I'm gonna go with the Fire. Fire good. Tree pretty. Well, I mean, that's wrong, but... Alright, so what do I do now? Can't go through these doors. Guess the only way to go is this way. What's this? Oh god! <laughs> oh, well. I am now in, in the city square. What are these things? Ifrit's matchstick. Mirror shield. Mystic monopole. That sounds funny. These are some of the finest relics in Lenovo and a worthy addition to Eddie Wizard's collection. Each of these priceless unique relics was painstakingly crafted to perfection! Oh, aren't you, Mr. Fancy Pants? Halt! Only wizards who have been invited to participate in the Chaos Trials are allowed past this point. Oh, you're the last minute entrant. The council informed us of your arrival. You are free to proceed. I'm gonna look around first. Creeping tendrils, wind flurry, shattering strike. Holy crap, what are these things? Arcana. Each one is guaranteed to get you fired up. Uh, I'm gonna buy the shattering strike. I mean, I only have 75 though, so. You know what, screw it, I'm, I'm buying shattering strike. You can now equip this Arcana by talking to Tommy. Well, I gotta talk to, here's Tommy. Another fine work to add to the gallery. This one looks to be quite the powerful piece. Oh, Z says the matchstick will boost my fire cells. I might do that. Is it here? Ooh, shattering spike. Shattering strike. Strike a boulder to shatter it into a ring of shrapnel. That sounds baller. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. And shattering strike is here. Uh, you know what? We're gonna... You know what? No, you know what? I'm gonna make this... the signature instead. We're gonna, we're gonna put the standard back to the fire. And we're gonna make the signature the shattering strike. There we go. That seems like a good plan. Uh, matchstick, shield, mystic monopole. Okay, well I'm equipping this relic. Tastes a little funny? Okay. Increases knockback when striking foes. Oh, damn. Yeah, you know what? I'm, a, I'm equipping that. Alright, Mystic Monopole. Uh, this appears to be everything I can do down here other than practicing to beat up those things. So, here are all luck new cloaks. I don't have enough for it. I only have 14 gems. Uh, but that would be neat. And all these people. What do you have? I'm pretty fine day to be out. I'm looking to purchase some chaos gems from aspiring young wizards. But it seems like I'll have to look elsewhere because you don't have any, you schmuck. Fine! Okay, here. Is this it? Is this the thing I do? Apparently it is. Oh, look. Start there and then go across to... Oh, it's like a board game. Oh, look. Ice stuff was first. I was smart. Uh. So this is them building the uh, randomly procedurally generated thing. Yay. Oh my god, everybody's terrible. Ow. Oh my gosh, everybody's hurtful. Oh, you guys suck. Ow, my head. 
Oh, my face. Holy shit, what was that? I'm gonna die. Hey, yay! Fell to their doom! Hooray! My health is terribly low. Everything about this is awful. And like, pick, there is no health pickups, is there? Did that give me anything? No, it did not. And now I'm in a room with people that are gonna kill me. Oh god, I'm so not prepared for this crap. Just a bunch of rocks! Owie. This is like, this is like the weirdest game of Arkanoid in this room. Yay, I did it. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. Oh, thank God. Okay. Breakman Z tells me to expect to die a lot. Hooray. Right, I'm going to run through here. No, that's the way I got in here. All right, let's go this way. Look at how fast I am. I'm a cool guy. Wearing a nice blue thing. Apparently, our friend Brickman Z played this. Oh, look at this! Another little shop. It's so hard to craft Arcano and everything keeps freezing. Well, alright. What do we got here? Ion Spike, Grasping Earth, Frost Fan, which I have, Wind Slash Basic Enhanced. Well, I don't have enough coins. Uh, I only have 60 coins and 15 other things. Oops. Just walking into that stuff breaks it. I'm terribly sorry about your shop. Alright. Ah, I broke. Ooh, nice. I actually got some coins from breaking that painting. That, that seems, this seems less than good. What is this? Oh, neat! It brought me here. Well, okay. Uh-oh. Well, crap. Everyone is awful. Ah! Well, and I'm dead. Hooray! I reached the first stage. Was in it for three minutes, found 65 gold, collected one gem, defeated 12 enemies, and friggin' died! But, you know, that's okay, because it's uh, actually been a half an hour playing through this, and that's how long I do first the impressions. Uh, you know what? This game is pretty awesome. Uh, the procedurally generated dungeon... Uh, is a little tough because enemies are tough instantly uh so i'm probably gonna have to fight through this a lot let's let's do at least one more see if we can't yeah okay look where i am i'm back in the house with stuff look at me go ah uh, running this is gonna put me back into the thing uh we're gonna go again it's rebuilding the thing I don't know what that means. We started a couple minutes after 7.30, so yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll give it another another trial and see if I die right away or not. And then after this, Just Cause 3. Alright, I got a mini-map in the corner. It does not tell me where I'm going. Look, this castle is different because I died. Procedurally generated thingy. Procedurally generated thingy. I'm good with words. Oh look, I can see the thing over there, but I can't get to it. Oh, can I go this way? Yeah. I'm breaking all your stuff. Fire. I like how it stuns them. Oh god.
Yeah! I messed him up. Hooray! Oh look, another thing. And so he has mittens. I got three gorgeous bulwark, an antiquated table, tabby, whatever. Matchstick, battery of healing potion. Healing potion! I don't have enough! Womp womp. Oh well. Fine, I'm gonna have to go the other direction now because... Uh, procedurally generated douchebags. Oh look! Like I said, procedurally generated douchebags. <laughs> oh god, there's more of them! Oh god! I'm gonna hit you with my big rock and then fire at you. Oh god! Oh, you're... You're a jerk. I think I killed you. I did. I win. I'm victorious. I'm doing a lot better this time, I say as I enter a room full of things. Oh, God. Well, damn. Ah, why did I just let him hit me? Because the rock takes a little longer to regen. Damn! I did... did way better. Well, hi guys. I'm just pushing you guys off the edge. That, that works. That works really well. Okay, this is the way out, right? Nope. Oh my god, your spear! You can suck it. You can... Everything about that. Yeah! Yeah! Messed you up. Here's a room full of... full of jerks. Okay. Fire on the jerks! I knocked him into the fire. <laughs> hey! Oh, those are spikes. That hurts. Okay. Knocking people into pits seems to be the best strategy. This is how you win things. It's like dead or alive. Only with magic. Am I going the right way? No, I am not. This is. This seems like I've been here. All right. <laughs> you fell to your doom. Alrighty. I don't know the way out of here. Oh, look! I found a thing! This is gonna take me to this. Oh, I actually have enough. Look, health potion. Totally doing that. How do I use the healing potion? Oh, I used it! You use it immediately. Well, that's convenient. I needed it anyway, so... Let's see if I survive this! Probably not! Oh my god, you guys suck. Oh my god, there's so much things happening. Everything about this is terrible. Oh god. Oh my god! Everything is awful! Oh. oh god. How am I alive still? Oh, I'm not soon. I will be dead soon. Oh, yep, dead. Totally dead. I lasted longer that time. It was six minutes. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in for this particular episode of Insane Ian's uh, first E-impressions. 
or actually, as it's really known, first the impressions with Insane Ian. Uh, I'm going to go set up uh, Just Cause 3, and I'll be right back. So please tune in for that. Uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Goodbye.